What's going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quinny Bags and welcome back to our Minecraft Bedrock Guide series. Now this is going to be part three. Now what are we going to be doing today? So last time I'll give you guys a little recap. If you guys didn't check out the previous episodes for this guide series, make sure to go check them out. I will drop a link in the description below or there'll be a little card up in the right corner that you can click on and uh, it'll take you to the playlist. Now, so this is part three. In part two, we went over supplies, looking at what we need, and date. And then part one, we actually made it how to survive your first night. So technically, this is like our third or fourth day. Um, last time, we went and collected up a ton of supplies. So what are we going to be doing today? Today, my dudes, we're going to be building our starter home. Yes, that's right. We're going to be taking our logs, our cobblestone, and we're going to be crafting a nice little home in this area that we found last time. So now, before we get started into today's episode, episode 3, uh, let's see if we can smash a 20 like goal on this video. Yes, 20 likes, my dudes. Let's see if we can smash it. And also, my dudes, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys like my content, make sure to smash that sub button because I think it's something like only 2% of people that watch my videos are subscribed. So that's pretty insane. Um, so let's get right into this episode. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to get cooking up some food. Um, last time we got some raw fish going on here. So we're going to get some food cooked up and then we're going to take our supplies and start building here. All right, so first thing I usually do when I start a home is I kind of, I, I look at my space I got here. So right now, I really want to make my house on the water. That's my goal here. So I kind of like where I'm at with the two block high from the water. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of terraforming. I'm going to push this area back. I'm going to push this area back here. And I'm going to put my house actually on the second um like second level, I guess you'd call it, of land. Um, we're not going to be making a crazy big home, but we're going to be making a fair size house because I don't want to have to make another house. And also, I for forgot to mention today, my dudes, we're also going to be making a few starter farms. Um, these are going to be just animal farms and wheat farms and uh, any other um, seeds that we have. So let's get right into this. I'm going to start by making a shovel. All right, so I made two shovels. As you guys know, shovels are probably great for, uh, not probably, but fantastic for digging dirt. Uh, so I'm going to terraform the land by pushing it back a bit. And as you guys notice, um, if you guys watched episode two, we planted a ton of trees. And look how much this area has grown in. You can see some saplings are down there. Um, but this area has grown in a ton. So we're going to be able to take all that wood later on. So I'm going to push this back and uh, I'll be back in about, I don't know, probably like five minutes. All right, as you guys can see, I pushed the land back quite a bit. It does not look beautiful just yet. But uh, what we're going to do next now is uh, actually what we're going to do next is eat some food. And then uh, I'm going to chop down all these trees kind of around us. This one, this one, this one, this one. And uh, that way I kind of have an open site on where I actually want to plant down the house. So I'm going to eat some food and then we're going to chop these trees down. All right, while I'm waiting for these um, leaves to despawn, um, if you guys know, obviously you chop down uh, all the wood out of a tree, the leaves will slowly disappear. Uh, I'm going to come up with a floor plan idea of uh, where I want to set up this house. I'm thinking I'm going to set it up really close to the water, probably around right here area, and then push it back. Um, it's not going to be too huge, but I'm going to come up with a floor plan idea real quick. All right, so I kind of mapped out an idea in my head currently, and the sun is going down, so we're going to get to sleep, and then right in the morning, we're going to start building this home. All right, rise and shine, my dudes. Um, let's get this home started. Well, let's start building this home. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I like to lay out a cobblestone, um, kind of almost like a foundation, as you'd call it. Um, so I'm going to start over here. Um, I'm not going to build this home too square, uh, but it's going to be a bit more of a square styled home um, and it's not going to be too huge. I think I'm going to bring this one back, uh, but I'm going to get this layout built and I'll show you guys it when I'm done. All right, so I made the layout of the house. Um, we're doing a one, two, three, four in the front. Why we're doing this is because I want to have double doors in the front. I want it to look really, really nice and have double doors in the front. And then uh, I made these long areas on the side because I plan on having a kitchen 
Um, probably either, actually, I'll probably even make the kitchen in the back of the room and then have like nice big windows along the sides of the home. Um, so that's why I did that. So I know it looks like nothing right now, but now we're going to go ahead and start filling it in with um, wood planks and logs and uh, really start shaping it. So what I'm thinking is uh, we'll probably do planks. Yeah, we're going to stick to planks for now. So I'm going to start by going up one, two, three. And uh, we're going to just fill it in and then eventually we'll kind of be able to shape it and uh, start cutting it and um, putting a little bit more look into it. All right, now that I got the walls built up three high, because I like a tall ceiling, so my head's not hitting the roof, I'm going to cut out the door here, and then uh, now I'm going to go ahead and grab, I think, uh, yeah, I have my furnaces here. I'm going to set up my furnaces outdoors here, and we're going to throw some cobblestone into the furnace with some coal, and we're going to let that cook. Now, what that's going to do is make stone, and then after that, I can make some, uh, basically, stone bricks, and then I think I'm going to lay out stone bricks as my main floor for the uh, for the whole uh, home here. And then if I want, I might put the kitchen, make it have some other type of flooring. I'm not sure yet. We'll see when we get there. Also, one thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go and grab sand and we're going to start cooking some sand. And yes, I'm going to use wood because we don't I don't think I have any more coal. I can go check over here. Oh, we have a ton of coal. Okay, I forgot how much supplies we gathered up last episode. But I'm going to go ahead and start actually cooking some uh, sand up. Sand is actually going to make us glass. So I'm going to collect up some and start smelting it. Now, while I'm waiting for this stuff to smelt, I'm going to go ahead and start putting a deck on the house. Um, I'm going to probably just put like a nice... I'm going to actually cut it into slabs. Now, if you guys like to um, save on resources and not have to make a ton of resources, always use slabs. Now, what you're going to do to make slabs is you're going to put three in the crafting box down like this, wood planks or any type of um, block mostly, and uh, it'll create an oak, like it'll create a slab like that, and it's basically half a block cut in half. It looks like this. Um, they come in handy because, as you can see, we're only using the top half of the slab of the block anyways, so you're saving on resources a ton. So I'm going to make a nice little deck here. Uh, probably just make it extend out like this. All right, so I went ahead and threw on this deck. It looks pretty good. I like it. It's very basic and starter looking. Uh, I'm going to cut out these cobblestone patches here. And we're going to see how our stone's doing here. Now, we only have 19 pieces of stone. That's not enough yet. But I'll show you guys what we're going to do with the floor inside the actual house. We're going to put these as a four, like all, uh, put it in a square in our um, crafting spot here and uh, we're gonna make stone bricks out of it and as you guys can see stone bricks look really really good um, so we're gonna make that the floor of our house um, I might what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do the kitchen over here and I might actually make it um, smooth stone blocks so I'll show you guys how to make those in a bit once we get enough cobblestone smelted all right now one thing I forgot to mention that we're gonna need to do right away is um, well, I mentioned it in last episode, is we're going to have to light this place up. Um, we are going to make a bunch of torches here. And uh, let's start lighting up our home. Um, I like to kind of put them a little more symmetric inside my house. Um, I don't like to kind of spam them around. It's up to you guys what you guys want to do. Uh, but I like to make it look a little fancy by uh, placing them symmetrically as I did there. Uh, but yeah, so this this is oh that's not symmetric. Uh, but yeah, so this is kind of just the start, just to make your house lit up because you do not want mobs spawning. Um, we're also gonna be living by the water, so we're gonna have to probably put a fence around our uh, deck here. And as you can see, there is uh, mobs spawning there. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put torches on the outside of the home. All right, so that's gonna keep our home well lit. Um, so no mobs are spawning in and around us. Okay, so it's getting dark, and like usual, let's go to sleep. All right, good morning, gamers. So we're going to see how much cobblestone we got smelted here. Let's see if we can get the floor done. And like last time, we still don't have enough cobblestone. Oh, one thing. Why? See, I'm, I'm teaching you guys things. I, I taught you guys how to do something, but I'm doing it wrong. Now, what we're going to do is turn these stone bricks into slabs, and then that way we could probably get our whole floor done. All right, now we have 60 slabs, so let's fill this whole area in. All right, there we go. We're halfway there. Not too bad. And what I was thinking is putting the kitchen back here. 
So what I'm going to do is probably cut out some areas for windows here. And our sand is done cooking here. Now, I like I like to um, stain my glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look for some octopus. And uh, that way we can actually make some darker stained glass. So it's not just um, clear glass. So let's go kill some octopuses. All right, so I managed to get three ink sacks. Now, what you're going to do with ink sacks is throw them into your crafting bench here, um, and you'll get black dye. You'll get uh, every piece of ink sack you have, you'll get one piece of black dye. Now, you're going to throw the black dye in the middle there, and we're going to surround the black dye with glass, and this is going to give us black stained glass. Then we're going to go ahead and put this in the crafting table in a six stack like this, a two by three. And uh, we're going to get stained glass panes. Now, we got a 64 stack. Now, this is going to look awesome in the house. What we're going to do is, uh, before we actually start cutting out windows, though, we need to get the top floor built on this home. So, I'm going to get into building that right now. All right. So, first thing I'm going to do is build some ladders. Put them up here. Uh, this way, we can get onto the roof. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, place one block in like that. We're going to make a top floor. Um, so we're just going to fill in this inside here. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and grab a bunch of slabs. And I'm going to fill in the floor now with slabs. Now if you want to use any other material, go for it. This is just me uh, building a nice starter home for myself. Um, you guys can use any material you want. This is just an example. All right, so now it kind of looks like we have a roof on the house. What we're actually going to do is make a staircase up to a top floor in the future. All right, so now I got this all shaped. I'm going to add another. Uh, I'm going to build too high. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put some walls up here. Because this is going to be our bedroom area. And then let's throw a roof on this. Um, we're going to have to make it one more high. So let's build it one more high here. That way it's three high and you got lots of room. You're not hitting your head off the roof, right? Hey, would you look at that? We have a wandering trader coming to say hello. Let's go. Let's take a break and say hi. What's this guy got to trade? He's got puffer fish for five emeralds. Nothing really good. Uh, maybe we'll kill him later and take his llama. Uh, but sometimes they spit at you, so it might not work. All right, so I've managed to get the uh, roof, the uh, walls three high. Now I'm just going to throw a basic roof on it for now. And uh, this will be complete. All right, our stone is done cooking, which is really good because now we can finish um, the flooring in the house. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up. All right, would you look at that? The flooring on the interior of the house is complete. All right, so I'm going to finish up the roof by just putting slabs for now. All right, now make sure you put some torches inside, like before, or else uh, some mobs are going to spawn in there. All right, so our home's looking pretty blocky right now. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start cutting some windows and uh, placing them in. I am not a professional home builder. I just want to say that, but um, this doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too, too bad. So I'm going to put some windows in. Uh, we can always change the materials in the future if you guys don't like it. Um, even get some darker wood in here. Um, that'll look pretty cool as well. And uh, we got a lot of zombies spawning outside. So what we're going to do is make a couple doors here. That way we're uh, not going to get in any trouble. So throw some doors on your house like that. This upstairs, I do plan on changing some of the materials up. Probably the floor. I will probably change that. Uh, but for now, it's not too bad. And uh, it'll be cool because we can have a bedroom upstairs and we can have a whole kitchen set up down here. Uh, I'm going to cut a hole in the floor over here. And I think we're going to make our staircase up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab all our stuff outside first and bring all this stuff inside. All right, now that we got everything inside, we can start shaping our kitchen a little bit. I usually like to make um, smooth stone um, kitchens. So what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to cook this stone again. And it's actually going to give us a smooth stone instead of regular stone. Now I'm also going to come outside here. I'm going to get uh, break all this stuff. And I'm going to bring my bed inside because we're going to need that. 
All right, so I'm gonna build some stairs. We're gonna put this right here. We're gonna make our staircase. Actually, let's make it a little bit more back here. We're gonna make our staircase up just like this. And then we can fill in that floor in a few minutes. Throw our bed upstairs. And uh, make sure to sleep in it and set your respawn point. All right, new day. Um, let's get this floor upstairs completed. Uh, place it like this. All right, so our smooth stone blocks are done. I'm going to make a few slabs out of them. And uh, I'm going to place them like this, kind of like a kitchen countertop. And uh, eventually we can fill in like cauldrons and certain stuff like that into the kitchen. But for now, this is just fine for me. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go outside. And we're going to start um, shaping the house a little bit better by adding um, some... We're going to be adding some slabs in the corners here. Um, this is just going to give the house a little bit more of a roof shape uh, and make it look a little bit better uh, because I don't really like exactly how it's looking. Oh, God. Hold on a second. Let's go inside. Okay, so I'm sure you guys know what Endermen are, and uh, they're very dangerous, so I recommend you stay far from them, but uh, we'll, we'll go see what he's doing. Hold on one second. All right, so I recommend if you're going after an Enderman, make sure to use a shield and a at least an iron sword. Um, here he is right here. Oh, God, his eyes are so pink. Let's find this boy. He is, uh... All right, make sure to get him with criticals. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, we might want to go inside. Okay. Be very, very quiet. I forgot how to use my shield, but it's actually um, crouch in this game. Okay, let's just wait for our hearts to go up here. Oh god, he is um, going to be spawning everywhere now because of the rain. I wouldn't be surprised if he spawned in our home. Alright, so I'm going to cut some windows upstairs while I'm at it now. Alright, so what we were doing before, we were kind of just throwing slabs up around the corners of the house. Uh, just to give it a little bit of a different look. Now, I won't lie, this isn't um, one of my best houses I've made. It is a little funky shaped, but um, this is literally just because this is just a tutorial world, and uh, we're, we're not getting too crazy into detail, um, but it, do it doesn't look that bad. I actually kind of like it. It's totally different from what I usually make. Um, usually, I wouldn't make an upstairs, though, and I decided to today. So, I'm going to go up on the roof, and we're going to shape the roof a little bit better. Um, the best thing to shape roofs is um, definitely use slabs and um, stairs. Um, slabs and stairs can uh, work wonders and make your home look a lot nicer. Uh, just a little tip for you guys there. But uh, this home, honestly, I, I, don't, I don't mind it. It's different. I, I haven't really made anything like this in a while, so uh, I don't mind it, to be honest. Alright, so now that your starter home is made and uh, you got a kitchen, a very basic kitchen, you got a chest, a little storage area. Um, if you guys even want to get more technical in the future, I will probably make a basement and make it a whole storage room and um, have it sorted out. If you guys want to get into that stuff, you guys can. But for now, we're going to keep it really basic just for this episode. Um, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to, I'm gonna actually going to try to sleep. I don't know if I can right now. Hold on. No, I can't sleep right now, um, but what we're going to do, okay, so we're going to go ahead and start making some fences. I want to start getting some animals um, ready to start breeding them. That way we have a good source of food. So we're going to make some fences. I'm not sure if you guys know how, but two sticks on the top and uh, wood planks on the outside makes some oak wood fence. Um, so we're going to we're gonna need more than that. So let's take all this stuff out. Let's make uh, a lot more, actually. Because we're gonna make we're gonna make some chickens, uh, some chicken areas, and uh, probably cows and pigs, I'd imagine too. And then also we're gonna want to make some uh, gates. So you're gonna want to make uh, it's basically like a fence, but put the sticks on the outsides and the planks in the middle. So we got two gates there. That'll be good for now. Okay, so let's start making an area for our animals to live. So now what I'd recommend is um, don't make it too close to your home because remember, you're going to have to listen to them. So if you want, maybe just go out in the field a little bit um, and then just, just make a gate area. So what I'm going to do is probably just make a square or rectangle shape just like this. So this is one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five. So that's a nice little gated area. And then we can throw a fence. Uh, a gate on the front oops 
Throw a gate on the front like that. That'll make it so you can actually go inside, in and out. And then let's make another one over here. All right, now that we got two gated areas side by side, I'd recommend putting some torches out here as well. So you can actually place torches on the fences. All right, that looks pretty good so far. Now next, we're going to have to start getting some animals. So um, to get cows, you're going to need wheat. And to get chickens, you're going to need seeds. So I'm going to go looking for them. Um, you're going to need seeds here. Um, now we don't actually have wheat. Now that is a problem. So what we're going to do here is we're going to grab some bone meal. So what we're going to do is grab some bones, put them in your chest. If you don't have any bones, go kill some skeletons. Uh, put some, Grab some bone meal here and then grab your seeds. And then we're going to have to make a hoe. So go ahead and grab your sticks. Make a hoe. We're just going to make a wooden hoe. It doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so now let's go out front here. Now we're going to make a small farm. So what I'm going to do here, basically just make a couple strips like this. All you got to do is right click with your hoe and then dig out beside it. Oh, that's perfect. There's water right underneath. All right, so now that you got those uh, made like that, let's plant our seeds in the ground. I don't have enough seeds to fully fill it in, but that's a-okay. And then uh, what we're going to do is grab a water bucket and just put a stream running beside um, those crops. That way they keep hydrated. To make a bucket, you just got to do a V-shape uh, with iron. We have a little bit of iron left. If you guys don't know how to find iron, go on my last episode. Very easy. Uh, put water like this. Grab buckets, put water down. All right, so now that that is made, you know what? Let's block this end off. I'm going to actually put um, wood around it just for the look of it. You don't need to do this if you don't want to. And uh, put some torches around it. It'll help grow at night. All right, so now you guys are probably wondering, why did we want that bone meal? So what we're going to do is just use the bone meal on the wheat. Um, this way, we can get some cows right away. There we go, and then replant the seeds. So bone meal makes crops grow basically instantly. Um, excuse me, Mr. Zombie. Ow, that was a lot of damage. So uh, replant those seeds now, and now we have our wheat. Now what we're going to go do now is we're going to go sleep because it's nighttime and you guys shouldn't be outside during the night. So that's a very easy, simple crop farm. Make sure to shut your doors at night. All right, my dudes, good morning. We are going to go get some cows now. So um, actually, we can go get some chickens as well if we're out there. Um, chickens are attracted to seeds and cows are attracted to wheat. I already said that earlier, just a reminder. And I do see some chickens. So let's go over here. And I see some skeletons. Oh my god. No! Get off that chicken! Jesus. Okay, follow me, my friend. So, uh, chickens will follow you with seeds in your hands. I, I don't know what's going on with that XP. I have no clue. That is a glitch. So, uh, get the chicken to follow you. Open your gate. Bring the chicken inside. I have no clue what's going on with this XP. This is totally a glitch. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go look for some more chickens and cows. That way we can breed them. And we found more chickens. All right, we have successfully found three chickens. So that's really good. Now we're going to go ahead and find some cows. And I've managed to find two cows down here. So follow me, my friends. All right, my dudes. Now get your cows inside of the fence. And now what we're going to do, oh, as you can see, I just fed one piece of wheat to the cows. Now what we're going to do is breed the cows. So basically, you just uh, right click and uh, feed one piece of wheat to one cow, one piece of wheat to another cow, and uh, you'll get a baby cow out of it. Now you're going to do the same to the chickens. And uh, basically, um, so I'm not going to sit here and repeat that process. Every day, I think it's like roughly every day, you can breed the animals together. Now, basically, you're going to want to do that every single day, and eventually, you can actually start killing them and uh, using them for food. I know that sounds cruel, but it's just the reality of Minecraft. 
Um, so I recommend you guys do that in the future. This is going to create a perfect animal uh, food farm. And also from chickens, you're going to get feathers, which is going to be good for making arrows. And cows, you're going to get leather, which will be good for making an enchantment table in the future because you need leather to make books. So you're going to want to do that. Make sure to breed these things every day. And, you know, if you got like 10 of each animal, you know, cut some out and uh, get some food from it. Hey, our house doesn't look that bad. Now that we look at it from this point of view, it do, it don't look too bad, right? It looks kind of cool. It looks like kind of like a, uh, I don't know, some type of weird modern home. All right, my dudes. So I'm going to wrap up today's episode. Today, we basically went over how to make a starter home, how to make a wheat farm, and how to make an animal farm. Now, remember, wheat is going to grow. And once it's fully grown, make sure to harvest it. Once you harvest it, use the seeds to replant and use the wheat to um, feed your animals Use the wheat on the cows. Breed the cows at least once a day. Use the extra seeds you have to breed the chickens. Remember to do that every day and you'll be good. So today was basically um, just some starter farms and some animal farms and building your starter home. Next time, we're going to go over how to go through the mines. And we're going to be creating a mine all the way down to the earth core and we're going to be searching for diamonds yes diamonds my dudes so make sure to look for next episode i'm going to try to release episodes monday to mondays wednesdays and fridays so thank you so much for watching my dudes if this is helping you out make sure to smash that like button let's try to get 20 likes on this video and uh, also if you're new make sure to hit that sub button and i'll see you guys in the next minecraft guide series peace out my dudes